Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are editing this night photo. Here is the reference. I took this on the same night, about two blocks away. I really like the strong blue and purple colors. It's always nice to have a reference, so you have a clear picture of where you are heading to. Your reference photo can be a movie poster, like Blade Runner, that kind of style. If we look at the color wheel, it's about this area. From warm tone to a cool cyber tone, a color shift. So our main objective today is first to remove the yellow cast, then we enhance the neon cyber tone. Lastly, mask out the distractions. Here we are in Lightroom Classic. What I usually do is hit this auto button, see what result it gives me, and I'll take it from there. At this stage, we are balancing the highlights and the shadows, so the details can be seen. I usually undo the vibrance and the saturation, because we are dealing with the colors later. So double click on the label to reset the sliders. Next, colors. If you're not familiar with the tone curves, let me quickly explain what's it for. Notice there are two colors in each curve panel. They're complementary colors. When you click on the curve, you add a control point. You then decide whether it goes up or down. If you want to reduce yellow, you put a yellow curve all the way to the opposite side, to blue. The tone curve is corresponding to the histogram. So I usually plot three points on shadows, midtones, and highlights to begin with. Shall we start? Go to the red curve, plot three points. Drag the shadows down towards the cyan. On the green curve, add magenta to shadows and highlights. Our objective is to remove the yellow cast, which means adding blue to counterbalance it. So pull up the blue curve for the overall tone. Let me brighten the shadows, so we see the neon colors glowed in the dark. Next step, color grading. I want to intensify the blue color and the midtones and shadows. Drag the dot from the middle towards the blue color. You see this slider, it represents intensity. If it's closer to the edge, the color is more saturated. The slider underneath is the brightness. You can make it more dramatic if the shadows are more crushed. I'll leave it as it is. The next step is adding more details. It's similar to sharpness, but more subtle. Crank up the texture and clarity. In other apps, it might call it structure. It's the same thing. The dehaze lighter can affect the contrast, because haze is similar to glow. When you add the haze, it's actually making it more contrasty. Let's add some matte tone. Go back to the tone curve on this end. The blacks, pull it up a little bit, so it's not entirely black. I like to make minor adjustments here and there. For example, if you want to dim the lights, you can go to HSL. In the luminance panel, pick a color. Say blue, it's like a dimmer. You have control over the brightness of individual colors. Again, double click to reset. If you want to add more magenta to it, you can do it with this tint slider. 
We want the focal point to be on the neon signage, so the bottom part seems a little bit too distracting. Let's create a mask. Linear mask. Darken it and blur it by using the texture and clarity sliders. The left side of the dehaze slider is adding haze. We'll add a little bit as well. Double click and rename the mask. So this is how I edit a cyberpunk style photo. How do you like it? I have another video on this. Different vibe, different approach. You can go and check it out. If you like my edits, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.